Team Drunk? Only If is an intensely strange and unpredictable first-person puzzle game that's free to play on Steam. You play as Anthony, who wakes up after a long night of partying, only to find himself stuck in a room listening to a pissed-off voicemail from Mel Gibson. Start looking for it! You blithering idiot! You dumb Well, actually, that's Vinny, your female companion's dad, who's got you trapped in here. He's not a very nice guy. The game is like an episode of The Twilight Zone or Outer Limits or something. The whole basis of the game is hinged on that feeling of disorientation. Now, it'd be very easy for the game to just throw random shit at the wall, like, ooh, everything's wacky, an alligator with sunglasses, street signs indoors? But only if is careful to keep things unpredictable without being random for the sake of being random, if that makes sense. Although I will say some of the dialogue is pretty childish and dumb. Excuse me? But for the most part, it does add a lot to the confusion, in a good way. You control so very little of what happens. Only If is also not afraid to blast through the fourth wall, asking you to type stuff and doing some quote-unquote magic shit. The way the game hooks you, though, is getting you to see what happens next, I'm because sure it could be absolutely this. anything. That's Only If's main strength, creating an environment in which truly anything is capable of happening at any time. As a result of that, though, the game can be too cryptic. It can be easy to get stuck at times with no hint whatsoever as to what to do. And yeah, this is the kind of game where you die a lot. Wait, but no, uh, wait, wait. But the number one problem with Only If is that it's way too short. So short that I can barely show off any footage without spoiling anything. It's worth noting that some of the puzzles are also still quite buggy, but I guess that's to be expected in a free-to-play game. Only If splits into two paths based on what you do on this chessboard scenario. One path is fantastic, by far the best part of the game, with some tripped-out surroundings, and the puzzles are very imaginative and well done. The other path is, uh, not quite so good. It's a big letdown compared to the other path, mostly because it's stuff that's been done to death already, like the typical stealth stuff and fetch quests, and it's just so dreary looking. And on top of that, it's a bit glitchy. Despite that, I gotta say this game is worth checking out. If you dig stuff like the Stanley Parable, this game doesn't have anywhere near the personality that game does, but if you like that vibe, then you'll like Only If. It's kinda like, do you enjoy having your head screwed with? Just some advice though, take the door on the right, sacrifice yourself. That's the more fun path that really shows off the strengths of this game. Oh, and have I mentioned that it's free to play? Oftentimes with free games, you get what you pay for, but that's not the case with Only If. It's free, and it doesn't take up too much of your time, and it'll leave a lasting impression.